You, uh, you have a record contract, I take it. I do. Um, I'm with a label called Rendezvous, <coughs> and that's a, sort of a boutique label. Um, as many of us now in jazz about, you could talk a lot more about this, but about uh, oh, 10 or 15 years ago, maybe 10 years ago, the jazz labels all kind of, or the major labels all kind of went, hmm, jazz. Man, yeah, maybe not. <laughs> and so uh, they all sort of, you know, cleaned house and, and all the artists, I mean, you know, that's everybody, Herbie Hancock, I mean, just name it. Jazz artists just sort of scattered and we found homes which actually I think are better suited for what, for what this music is about. And uh, I was on Columbia for years. Um, uh, well, CBS, Columbia, Sony, you know, all those names. And then I was uh, on Warner Brothers for about seven years, I think. And I uh, had a great run there. And um, it was actually the first time my career was in the black, which was beautiful. Um, How many records do you sell to get into the black? <laughs> Too many. <laughs> um, that threshold of when you actually start seeing money from being an artist is, is an is a enigma. And that really depends a lot on the kind of contract that you get. And I'm hoping that you guys are going to write the kind of contracts in this new age that uh, are a little fairer to the artists, you know. But definitely the age that you and I came up in, um, the contracts were very heavily skewed towards the, uh, the company. So, so definitely the deal that I signed in 1985, 84, my first deal, <clears throat> was pretty anemic. So, and unfortunately you stuck to that for a while depending on, and that's why when you guys are dealing with contracts, make sure the term of the contract is, you know, has some kind of reasonable limit to it because it, once you sign it, you know, guess what? So um, it took a while for me to be in the black, you know. And, and, and what is the number of records? That's a good question. But um, I think it was way too many. They, they, they had cleaned up long before I made a dime. Do you, have a, do you sell around 100,000 records or 50,000 records? I sell, I sell closer to 100,000 um, per record. Uh, right now, the one we have out now is called Kirk Whalen Performs the Babyface Songbook. Huh. I love Babyface, a great songwriter. And uh, that one's, I think, around 80,000 right now. Are you taking advantage of all the social websites on the internet and different I ways? have a MySpace, and my daughter Corey, who goes to a school called Loyola <laughs> in New Orleans, um, my daughter Corey uh, maintains my MySpace. Do you say my MySpace or do you say maintains MySpace? <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those burning questions. Like, what's the past tense of text? You know, I'm going to text you. Yesterday, I. <laughs> it sounds weird, but text it. <laughs> anyway, so no, um, I do have a MySpace page. That was a little tangent, all right? And, it, and yeah, actually I have about 11,000 friends on MySpace, which is kind of cool. Um, I think that's the only one we're doing. Do you sell merchandise when you're on the road? I do sell merchandise on the road, yeah. Um, that used to be taboo, too, and I, I, I bet you remember back in the day, um, when the Ma and Pa record stores were, were thriving and when the big record stores were thriving, neither one is thriving anymore, um, they really didn't like for you to sell merchandise on the road because, you know, you come in town and all, you're selling your CDs, at, you know, there at the gig. Well, then what about Tower Records? They're going, hey, you know, what about it? We want to sell those records too. We're gonna, well, then we'll just take your records off the shelf if you're going to sell them. So that was just the whole thing that was going on. But um, gratefully uh, now... We, um, we sort of do everything, you know, because more or less you buy records from, you know, from, the, from your company and you sell them and you make a little retail off of those. And uh, the company does good, you do good, et cetera. So you're happy with your record deal? I am very happy with my present deal. And um, I, was, I was actually happy with my Warner Brothers deal too, but um, that, that company was one of the ones that, you know, that, that no more jazz. And um, again, I think that's, my, that's a good thing because uh, ultimately jazz as a kind of music is so broad um, and there's so many different um, styles of it and there's, it, it has so much substance and it's so important. Yes, it's, it's for entertainment, but it's also really kind of important. You know, you can't just put it out there any old kind of way. I'm glad that now the companies are smaller and they're more, sort of pay more attention to what, um, what it's about. Mm -hmm.